Okay, we're back out here again. Fully expected to dig rings. Just dug my first target. Weren't too deep either, about two inches down. Nice little flat button, you can st see the shank still intact. I like adding to my button collection. It's getting quite a few now. Well, no rings yet, but we've only dug a few holes and we have an Indian already. Uh, 1907, I'm pretty sure I'll get a date off that one when I clean it up. Okay, folks, here we go again. We jinx ourselves with a live dig. 87, 86. Okay, we dug the hole. Should be a quarter. Hopefully a silver one. But is it that or is it crap? What do we got? Like a big quarter. Washington maybe? A little dirty, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's been a little while since we dug one of these, a couple inches down, pocket knife. Yeah, I don't know if it's an old one or not, probably not. Okay, we're going to attempt to do a live dig here. We're going to target two inches down. Ring in 89, 87. Right in the silver range or the clad quarter range. we dig her up, see what we got. Doing a live dig, so you know it's probably going to be junk, huh? Alright. Okay, I can see it. And it's a clad quarter. Not bad for a live dig, because I usually get a chunk of iron. Well, we had a little rain this morning. Stopped now, drying up pretty good. I was thinking I was going to get through this episode without digging up any rings and I finally found one even though it's a nasty old copper one. It's a ring along with all the other rings I've gotten out of here. Well, we got ourselves another ring here down about six inches or so. Yeah, it looks like a skull or something, copper, maybe the devil or wolf, I can't quite tell. Very small in diameter. Uh, either. I can't believe this would be uh, a woman's ring, but it's probably a kid's ring of some sort. Well, we dug the neatest thing of the day so far. A little uh, sailor's pendant of some sort. It's not gold or anything. I could tell. You see where the corners chipped there, and you could see the underlying metal. And the chain was junk also, which is another good indicator. But it's pretty neat. It'll clean up nicely, I think. Okay, we're down about six inches or so. We dug something interesting. First I thought it was a large coin, but it's a big flat button. Still has a shank on the back. Silverish color. I'm not tell if there's a design on it or not. Probably not. Looks like a flat button. But another one for the button collection. Okay, we're out here again today. It's Sunday morning. Really haven't found much yet in this video. That one Indian. So I gotta hurry up and find something or this video is gonna be a letdown, especially compared to the last one. Okay, we're gonna have at it, see what we come well, up with. Well, looks like I might have broken through. Four inches down, which is common for a good coin. It's like a large set. Can't tell what's on it yet. But I'm, I'm hoping it's ringing 79 in the copper range. I thought I was gonna dig another penny or maybe a dime. But uh, this is what we come up with. It's awesome. Okay, it's Monday afternoon, about five o'clock or so. It's cooling off now in the evenings. It's 59 degrees currently. Be dark in about two hours or so. We got some more hunting to do. We'll see what we can get. Well, we keep digging them, keep digging them, and we come up with more rings. This one's a junk ring, but we're still getting rings, which is encouraging. Hopefully, we'll get a good one. Well, the last few nights been all over this side of this field. You can see my lanes where I've been going back and forth, back and forth. I haven't gotten much. Junk rings, two Indians, 
few weeds. Finally, we broke through. We got silver. It's a barber dime. 1904. It's my first barber ever. It's about four and a half, five inches down. The AT Pro picked it up, clear as a bell. It's awesome. I'm a loss for words. Yeah, I had a little bit of a silver drought going. Been like a week and a half, two weeks since I gotten any silver. And I've been working it hard. But I finally got one. Of course, Kelly's not here. He's already got a barber dime out of here. Well, we're about, I don't know, five inches down. Got ourselves a nice little weedy here. Nice and green. Tell what year it is, but I'll clean it up. And we'll have it you at know, the sometimes end. Sometimes you get those signals that are high and it's a big piece of iron or so. And then sometimes you get them and it's a walking liberty half dollar. My second one of these, 1943. Awesome. Two silver and one night. Uh, Kelly's going to be jealous. Yeah, I guess he ain't showing tonight, but I'm hitting the silver tonight. Awesome. Most silver I've gotten in one, uh, one hunt is uh, two. So we're going to try to get three here before okay. dark. Okay, got things all sorted out. Here's our junkier items. Another pocket knife. Stainless steel spoon. Shell case and lipstick case. Nothing too special. And our pennies. Um, our nickels and our clad. We got our junk jewelry. Some buttons for the button collection. That's going to be the largest button. I've ever found. Shank still in the back. So, this is a necklace, part of a bracelet, another bracelet. That uh, sailor's charm. A couple junk rings, one with the devil on it. One with somebody's initials and a little stone, but it's all junk. And a really junky one, just a just a ring, simple ring. Over to our Wheaties. We got plenty of Wheaties in this uh, adventure. And uh, to the good stuff. What we thought was a large scent ended up being a presidential token. Uh, Harry S. Truman. Somebody made a necklace out of it. So uh, that's not a large scent. It's a bummer. And an Indian. 1890, 1904 Indian, a little rougher shape. Then our silver, 1904 Barber, which I'm very happy to have. First Barber. Then our uh, 43 Walking Liberty uh, Half Dollar, which I'm very happy to have too. It's in very nice shape. That concludes uh, this uh, series of hunts. <laughs>